So this video is about my EDC bag. Uh, I usually do things about. Uh, I usually do videos about um, modification on my multi tools, but I was asked to to make a video like this. Uh, I will show you what I have in this bag. There are some things which I learned for, uh, from example, uh, from other videos, yeah, and um, things which I uh, carry with me all the time because I learned that I need it. Some some things you you will even laugh about it. Um, I had uh, another bag before. Uh, wolf skin before this is an alpaca tech bag not tech bag mini it's normal bag uh, it cost a lot of money I don't remember how much it's uh, 100 and something euros just because it's coming from Australia um, yeah so I'll show you what I have this in this I uh, usually carry it as a sling bag uh, the exception is when I don't take this with me, if I get in uh, official buildings, in the schools, uh, stadiums, uh, because of the my multi tool inside, which is not allowed in this kind of situations. I will show you. Uh, so this bag is have on outside just uh, this pocket here in the front, and. Um, the shoulder st strap what i wanted to to say that before that uh, this is also part of my edc it's a garmin um, garmin phoenix 7 x ss sapphire, sapphire solar uh, with a little bit of accent on the markings I carry this all the time with me and actually the flashlight on this it's uh, used almost daily. Uh, this will require uh, charging almost some somewhere around two weeks, two weeks and something and I have a, I will show you I have an adapter inside of this bag. If I'm not home I can charge this completely. So what is in this bag? In a, the only pocket I have in the front I usually carry receipts, which for that day, so temporary, uh, until I make a photo of them and put them in the uh, accounting, and my phone. So my phone is very easy to take off. You probably saw that this is actually an EDC itself, where I have the reading glass in glasses, uh, a company credit card, uh, knife, uh, blade, yeah, scissors, uh, tweezers, pen to sign some documents, and a few other things. A pin here. This is staying all the time with me. If I get home, this bag will stay somewhere near the door or near my bed. Uh, if I am in a office somewhere, this bag will stay open like this so I can open it and take everything I need and it's very easy to, to visit but this phone is staying with me all the time and this is actually a complete DC if you look at it uh, with the flashlight, knife uh, and so on, pen and so on so this is staying all the time with me I don't have anything else on outside. Inside, there are uh, <laughs> compartments done by these walls, which some of them they are actually have zippers, and uh, that the zippers uh, have pockets inside. Yeah, so there are four pockets. So let's start. I have two two main compartments actually. Let's start with this compartment. Here on this compartment I I actually carry cash because it's very easy to access them and very easy to, to see. I keep all my cash on the from the higher to lower nominations. 
uh, this time it's an exception it's not too much cash it's just for an, an emergency i usually pay with my watch or with my phone if they don't uh, accept my watch <clears throat> so in this compartment here are uh, cash just uh, because it's very easy to access that compartment on the next compartment i have a glass cleaning rack which i also use uh, to clean the screen of the phone and also uh, my reading glasses inside of the phone yeah or the sunglasses I also have here holding on this a uh, trolley key. I don't like to, to carry uh, coins with me. I When I was carrying coins with me, usually I was forgetting about them. Uh, I had to turn back to the car to, to find some coins in my car or uh, exchange some, uh, some bigger nomination in coins. Like this, I have this one inside here. I just take it out, I release the, the trolley from the chain and the, the shape of this is done to, to come out um, from the trolley even if it's not on the chain. So when I finish with that I just let it go and it will go back in a, in a bag and I zip back the bag. I will take it out for now just to show it here. So I have nothing in this compartment, but inside on this zipped compartment, I have few things. I usually have uh, three of these wet wipes, which they uh, they have um, alcohol. So they can sterilize few things. I usually have three. Now I have four uh, because I replenish this. Um, <coughs> they are very useful uh, because if I, for example, I want to um, clean my my blade of my little bastard uh, to cut an apple, I use one of these and will uh, sterilize it. Uh, if I have a cut, I use this to, to clean the, the wound even if alcohol is not uh, very recommended. Uh, I use this to, to clean the, the, the wound and after that use some plasters. I have uh, three, four plasters with me. I, I have this to because I usually travel with my daughter, a 12 years daughter, and until now I, I actually use this quite a lot <laughs> because of her. Now it's starting to grow up and I use this less. Also in this compartment I have a Fresno lens. Uh, this I was using before I had the reading glasses because I could not see uh, the small screen on the products when I was going in a shopping mall and I was using this part of the Fresno lens, this uh, small lens which is have a very high magnifying uh, and I could read this. Now I have the reading glasses. I actually don't need this too much anymore. But I am carried, carrying for the moment. Probably I will take it off at one point. But for a moment, it's just staying there. I have some paper clips. I, uh, together with the multi tool, I can do a lot of things with these paper clips with the uh, uh, pliers from the multi tool. Um, just to give you an idea, the the hinge from the companion it's actually part of uh, these paper clips because they are it's quite thick and uh, I do a lot of things even that 
Um, I do. I use this for making hooks to to hook some uh, some uh, shopping bags somewhere uh, or the, a jacket somewhere. I use it a lot. So this is just to have some wire with me uh, to model with my uh, pliers from my little bastard. So let me see. I have nothing left in this pocket. Now down here, I have a pen for the phone. So this pen is writing only on the screen of this phone. Um, I am using this to take dimensions. Um, it's a method of taking dimensions which I didn't see anywhere. Normally, you make a sketch of the of the objects you measure, and after that you you put some dimensions on the sketch. Um, I have a method where I take a photo of that object and I put the, the dimensions on that photo directly. I will make a video probably once about this kind of measuring because this methodology I use even at work. Uh, I have a Surface Pro which I use to take photo on uh, a picture of the object I measure or more from different angles and I just put the dimensions directly on the photo. It's much more better than making the sketch. Not only that it's easier but it's better because later you can see the objects and maybe if you forget to, to sketch something you can measure it directly on the picture. I also have a multi-pen. Uh, this pen I was using more more when I was working directly for the companies as a mechanical design engineer because I could uh, uh, have a red pen inside and a marker and I could uh, uh, correct the drawings of other engineers. Usually uh, design engineers they give the drawings to one to each other to, so the other one will correct your drawings and you'll correct his drawings in this way you are uh, more secure that you don't you didn't forget something some companies they have their own uh, drawing uh, checkers but if you don't have that we use this pen like this also i have uh, uh, the black pen here which i use for uh, uh, filling up official documents usually they ask you to to mark it to to fill it up with the black marker so they can be scanned okay in this compartment here you can see that there are a few things which are which they have pocket clips and they are hanging here so first of all is my little bastard for people who didn't see this before, this is a Charge G10. It was red, it is red now, which is have uh, modifications. So we have scales uh, with uh, some magnets embedded inside to keep the um, to keep all the seven bits which are coming with the, with this usually which are a very good choice so whoever has done that choice is done a very good choice uh it's also have uh, victorinox scissors which are the best in uh, in uh, in that category also i have a modification that uh, it's allow me to to put some um, uh, tishang blades uh, inside it's also having the pliers from a rebar and also an all from rebar here and also they have a victorinox pen uh, um, toothpick which is designed by me uh, tweezers yeah so it's uh, it's quite complete and this thing with the pocket clip and also here is have the uh, artificial fingernail so when I want to open something because I don't have fingernails I 
I use this to open. It's a video about this in my playlist called my actual uh, multi or my current version of multi tool or something like that, which will explain a lot about this. Now, I also have a flashlight, which is have a, some improvements I will show in a minute, but when I want it, I just take it out and the support is remaining inside. I use it. This is the Rov Yvonne, uh first generation A5 or second generation, I don't remember, uh, which is have a cap modified by me, which is have magnet here uh, that is keeping the flashlight inside there. You also have a magnet back down and some magnets here. Uh, this it's very powerful flashlight. It has some problems. Uh, for example, when you keep it in a bag like how I, as I keep it, uh, when you press the bag, the bag will press this button and the flashlight will start to illuminate at the maximum and start to get hot and my melt your uh, your bag they try to fix this in the new generation with this kind of button i will not talk about that and also they made the clip to have a magnet as i have here probably they see it in another place not in my my videos and also they put the magnet in a in here where I have a magnet here. The thing is, when this light is staying in my bag, it has this casing, which is designed by me also, that will uh, stop the the bag to press when when you press the bag, will not press on the button because it has these tabs here, which will stop the bag to press on the directly on the button. And few other things, for example, when you illuminate these LEDs here and use it as a lantern, uh, the light will bleed, uh, uh, the flashlight will bleed the light a lot in this side, uh, blinding you. But if you keep it here, uh, the light will illuminate only this side, so this side will not blind in, blind in, blind in you. So, but usually when I take it from the bag, uh, this uh, this part will remain a bag. So next thing, this here is the car key. I have a minivan, a Toyota minivan. Um, this clip it's uh, designed by me especially for this key usually when i open the van it's a wireless key uh, you can open the van it's important to have this with you also my alarm can open the car but i hold i keep this with me all the time also this clip here is of my phone number here so if i leave this key, key somewhere uh, maybe some somebody good enough will phone me to, to tell hey, have your keys. Uh, this clip is actually not done for this bag. It's done for the summertime when I have only some uh, uh, small shorts with me. And uh, this will stay in my pocket of my shorts. Clip on the edge of the pockets with this. That way you see some that aggressive teeth so they will stay this clip is actually can stay even on the I can clip this key directly on the uh, on the t-shirt yeah so if I don't have any pockets on the on the on the trousers I can clip this directly on the t-shirt and because of that uh, teeth aggressive teeth uh, it can stay even on the uh, thin material which normally the shirts from uh, for the summer they are done I actually use this quite a lot in this way okay so next 
Here I have the headphones. These headphones, they, they are very good uh, as a sound quality. I like to listen the music to high sound quality. Uh, they can be charged on the USB-C and I'll show you later why I'm saying that. And also wireless charge. They are very useful. I uh, usually listen to music or mostly to the audiobooks. I have uh, almost 300 audiobooks in my library and uh, I have uh, I'm listening quite a lot of audiobooks, let's say that. Now, I empty this compartment. Let me open the zipper on this compartment wall. Here you have three pockets. We have three pockets and here I am keeping small stuff. So a charging cable for the battery. So I have, let me take it out now. I have here 500 milliampere small battery. That is used with this cable, which is USB-C on one side but I also have an adapter for micro USB because the Rovivon flashlight the older generation I have is using the micro USB-C uh, the newer generation they are, they are using USB-C yeah but I I have other things which are using USB-C so I have this to uh, this adapter also on the cable also here I have the same kind of adapter to from USB-C to the Garmin charger, proprietary charger for Garmin. So if I need this, let's say I forget to charge it or something, I I can use the, the spare battery and the cable to charge that. Also I have a micro USB, which is working with the USB-C and USB-A. Uh, I don't have any documents, any IDs on this. I ha actually have a library of uh, engineering uh, books and standards, yeah, ISO standards, which I use. Um, if I go somewhere, I actually download this library directly in the computer if I go to a client and I know they I will work three months on that workstation, for example, or six or one year, I will download my library. Or if I go to discuss with somebody, <coughs> if you allow me, I will download a document from here, an ISO standard, because usually what I design is based on uh, standards, ISO standards. I also have a tool for uh, cleaning the earwax from uh, from my uh, earphones, and uh, I also on my earphones because I'm a, a big guy, literally. I I'm 1.9 meters tall and many hundreds of kilograms. I have big ears, so I had to uh, use some uh, custom made, some aftermarket uh, ear adapters. And that's why I am actually have the, the original also with me. Yeah, so these are for bigger ears bigger than usually Sony is doing. I don't want to say that uh, Sony is a Japanese company and Japanese are small and they don't realize they need bigger things for bigger guys. I just have this. On the small pockets here, I also have a uh, 
my car alarm is supposed to not uh, start the engine without this tab, Bluetooth tab, or without seeing my phone, one of them. Um, it's a problem because uh, it will start if it's seeing this or my phone, but if it doesn't see this, will not stop the engine. <laughs> Something weird. And I will tell you in a moment why I tell you this. Because I had a lot of uh, problems when uh, my engine on the car will not stop anymore because this didn't have battery anymore. So that way I actually carry in the same compartment a spare battery. But it's not only for that. In uh, another small compartment here, I have a Samsung tab. tab. This is helping me to find this bag. For example, I don't know where I leave it in, inside of the house or if I forget it in my car or anything like that. So I use this tab for that. I um, that, that tab is also working with this kind of battery. And also my car key is working with the same battery. So I keep one of these batteries with me as a spare. It doesn't take anything, almost anything. It's very small. I usually had two in the winter when the, the battery on this tab is it's, uh, starting to... It's consuming very fast the batteries. I usually have two batteries on it. So that's all in this compartment. I will go to the next compartment. This it's a pill box. I had to take uh, four times pill, four times a day pills because of my poor health. Health. Uh, if I don't have the the pill box with me. This is an emergency which will, I will take uh, pills from here when the time to take pills is coming. Also, uh, a thing here, normally staying like this, but because now the bag is empty, it's falling down. This it's a search companion. Normally, I will not take this with me. But because this is the uh, version 2 of my uh, companion, I have to take it with me and use it as much as, as I can to test it. So that's why this is staying permanently with me for, for a while, just to test it. And now, in here. In here I have documents, I will put them like this off screen. So I have my ID, Romanian ID card, uh, credit cards, uh, driving license and everything in a plastic pocket fold. Yeah, they are staying all together plus the business cards, I will not show it here on the YouTube for the obvious reasons. I usually make payments with the watch or with my phone, but if it doesn't work, I either have some cash with me or I have some uh, spare credit cards. I also have the company credit card in this and the personal credit cards in this. And also in the last pocket is something that People might laugh, but it's something I learned that uh, when you go to shopping malls, sometimes uh, you don't find toilet paper there, especially in Romania. But I actually saw that in Germany also uh, and in Belgium a lot and in UK a lot. So I have toilet paper here in a watertight bag. This is for the situation when you need a lot of toilet paper, if you know what I mean. 
So I have it with me in case I don't have to, I, uh, I don't have one and I need it. Some people ask me why don't use the white, uh, the, the wet wipes. Well, that is self alcohol in it. And if you use it in, uh, in your back, you might uh, sing differently, different songs. So that's it. That is all I have in the in my bag. The bag it's an alpaca tech case, and this is everything I usually have. Well, except this, I usually don't have this with me. This I it's all of what I have with me, uh, and it's all based on what I I learned that I need with me. Um, let me know if you if you have any suggestions for me or if you have any questions uh, put them in the comments and we'll see until next time see you bye